there, Toy here, and I have a pretty exciting video. It is part of my reading challenge. I am updating because I got so wrapped up in my countdown to con season, and then I did the B2B side con. So I've been pretty busy, and I kind of forgot about my um, March wrap up and to let you know what I was currently reading. Uh, so with that said, um, I am going to be posting a B2B Psycon wrap-up video. I'm also going to be posting another video completely unrelated to books. Uh, it's an unboxing, which, you know, depending upon when I've edited these things, you may or may not have seen it already. Um, if you have seen it already, you know about my lipstick, and that's all I'll say. And then, so now, I'm going to do this update video. Here's what's going on in my reading challenge. And there will also be a little bit of a, a kind of unboxing reveal at the end of this video. So, you know, stick around for that. Let's see what I've got here. Um, March was a very busy month. <laughs> um, my whole countdown to con season is part of that. I've been preparing, you know, for these conventions that I have coming up. I did the B2B side con at, at the first thing in April. And I had a, just a lot going on. So um you may if you've been following along know that my <laughs> reading challenge for this year is all out of whack because i thought i was being clever by saying that i was going to read 30 books this year and i am so gonna you know <laughs> go further than that um, because it turns out that i've been reading a lot of short fiction and a lot of children's books and goodreads counts it all equally and i kept saying that i wasn't going to alter it but i think i am um I think I'm gonna bump it up to 50 and we'll see what happens because if you're reading short fiction or if you're reading children's books you blow through those so quickly so I don't want it to seem like I am just doing so much when you know I'm just doing a little bit okay so here's what I have for the month of March I actually read eight books not all of those are novel length books but I did read eight books four of those were part of my original um, you know list of certain books that I wanted to read this year so if you're just now following along not only did I set a reading goal for this year I actually set aside certain titles that I wanted to try to get in this year so that happened and and I do think that I am gonna update my reading challenge to 50 books I haven't done it yet but it's coming so first thing let's go over the books that I read in the month of March. I read a children's book called You Are Not Small. It was really cute. Uh, I don't know if I've posted my review yet. I'm always a little bit behind on my reviews uh, just because I have so much going on. So I, I always kind of know what's going on in my head. If not, you know, I'll look at notes that I've kept. Uh, anyway, I've already rated it, so I just have to fill in the review later, and I gave it a five. It's a really cute story. Uh, the next thing that I, I want to say read, but I didn't really read it, <laughs> it was the uh, Griffin series coloring book, and I colored it, and it was quite enjoyable. I, I have some video footage of me coloring it, but it's not that good of quality. I may have to do some editing. I might share some of, you know, me coloring in the book, just for fun we'll see what happens so I did that and I gave it a five I love the Griffin series and I love to color so yeah uh, the next uh, thing that I read um, something else by Stacey Rourke her sidekick chronicles and I think I mentioned um, you know in my last month's uh, wrap-up that I couldn't get a copy of it she sent me a copy so I read um, there was two of them there's 2.5 and those were kind of um, just kind of short stories about some of the um, side characters from the Griffin series. The, the main character is Celeste and she's the one who is the conduit to the Griffin and so the whole book is really about her but this little edition in the series Sidekick Chronicles tells you about um, a little background about her sister, a little side story there, a little side story about her grandmother which Grams is the best, um, side story about her brother just to kind of you know let you in on a little insight about those other characters and then there was the, um, the 3.5 um, Psychic Chronicle which was a pirate's tale and that one is um, the character in the story who is a pirate um, well, at least he used to be anyway it's a pirate story so 
what I did for the first Psychic Chronicles, which was 2.5 in the series, I gave that one a 4. Again, I haven't written my review yet, but it's coming. It was enjoyable. And then for the Pirate's Tale, which was 3.5 in the series, I actually gave that one a 5. I mean, it was, I mean, what, if you've read the series, if you haven't read it, um, but the pirate character, he's so, I don't know, maybe the word is dynamic. Um, he's just, you love him, you hate him kind of character. And so his, anything pretty much doing with him, I like. And I will go ahead and apologize. I'm going to try to clean up this video for the background noise. There's a huge fan blowing right now, and I cannot reach up to turn it off. So if the noise is bothering you, I'm sorry. I'll fix it in the next video. Next on the list, what I read was the first book in the Disaster Crime series by Chris Fay. And it was really short. Like, I didn't realize how short it was. I should probably start doing more research on these books ahead of time. I mean, the, the next book in the series is a full-length, you know, um, book, but I didn't realize that the first in the series was just a kind of a short story that introduces you to the characters and what's going to happen to them later. So that was kind of off-putting. I thought there would be more to it. Regardless, I enjoyed it, so I gave it a four. And please, you know, once I do get the review of that, uh, make sure you read it be um, before you get the book. It does have some mature content in it. Um, but nothing too severe. So that is, oh, I forgot. I also read the last two books in the Mark of Nexus series, unless she comes out with something else, which you never know these days. I read um, Honesty, which is an installment in the series that focuses on the main male character's twin brother. So you have, um, his name is Nicholas, but um, they call him Cole. And he, for most of the series, he kind of seems like a dirt bag, but he's on your side, so you're okay. But then this book kind of gives you more insight to him to find out there's more to him. He's not as big of a dirt bag as he seems. And then, um, and I hope that terminology doesn't offend someone. That's just kind of the best way to describe that character. And then um, the last book in the series, uh, Loyalty, which kind of wraps everything up. And I enjoyed this series so much. I really try to be critical and not totally fangirl on some things, but it is what it is, people. So I gave both of those. I gave Honesty and Loyalty a five. There was no point in me denying it. So that is what I read in the month of... Oh, there's one more. <laughs> Forgot this one. This one is actually a pretty big one because not only did I read it in the month of March, this one is the only one I actually wrote the review for because I was so excited about it. Um, I contacted the author, which she and I have since connected on Facebook, which I love when I discover a new author and we connect and like, we're, I mean, we're not best buds, but you know, we're friends now. So anyway, I interviewed her on my blog and, you know, I did a little bit of promo for her because I really, she's just, I, I've all, I've been following her blog for a long time. I'm always like three or four weeks behind on her blog post. I literally... I read her blog the way I watch television. Everything that I watch is on Netflix and I binge watch it. So I binge read her blog. Like it'll be four or five weeks will go by and I won't read it. And then I'll just read everything she's posted in that time. Regardless, she came out with a book called Monsters in Our Wake. And I thought it was going to be a very traditional like monster story. And it's so much more than that. And I ended up giving it a four. So that review is actually up. So if you want to check it out. Check out Monsters in Our Wake by um, J.H. Moncrief. It's good stuff. So that's what I read in the month of March. So here's what I am currently reading. Uh, I started this last month, but again, because there's been so much going on, I haven't finished it yet. I started reading My Father Didn't Kill Himself by Russell Nolte. And if you watched my last video, I was a little bit confused about whether or not this was like a comedic satire or a drama or something like that. Well, let me go ahead and clarify. This is a straight up drama. Um, I think it's qualified as young adult drama and I'm having some difficulty with the story not because it's badly written or anything like that it's because once I write my review you'll understand more but it's one of those type of stories that's hard to read but that can be a good thing I'm still waiting to see how the story ends and I it's it's been a struggle but a good kind of struggle to read this book the next book that I'm reading is Seismic Crimes which is number two in the Disaster Crime series this one is an actual novel in story because the first one went by so fast I was like what what happened so I'm reading the second one I'm not going to give you too much of my thoughts on that just yet because again 
I'm in the process and I'm trying not to formulate opinions until I finish it. I am also, I'm still reading my devotion, Cling to God, which I'm probably going to finish it soon. Because like I said, I am reading more than one of those a day. Um, it's been very helpful and I'm going to keep doing that. I also picked up another um, inspirational book to read. Uh, my sister invited me to an event a while back and I, I'm pretty sure I posted a video about it. Um, we got to meet the author. She used to work for like the 700 Club and she left a bunch of stuff that's not important right now. But she wrote a book called Talk Yourself Happy and um, I've been reading it and it's been helpful because uh, i just been kind of, everybody's always kind of going through something wherever they are and that's where I am right now. So I've just been truly trying to motivate myself and that is helping me. I don't like self-help books. I don't like motivational books, but I'm just at a place right now where I feel like I need some of that. But that's not to say I'm going to read just anything because if it doesn't appeal to me, it's not going to help me. So, you know, so far this is appealing to me and it's helping. Because my month got totally shifted, which I still have the Raven Con at the end of this month, still in the month of April, and then I have the Tidewater Comic Con in May, which I'm also doing a, a like a spring craft fair where I'm going to be selling children's books. I have a lot going on, so who knows how much I'm going to you know get done reading in the next two months. But you know, once summertime comes, ha <laughs> ha. But anyway, um, so I am. I've been meaning to read the um, Outliers of Speculative Fiction number two. It's still on my list. It's ready to go. I just haven't started it yet. I'm sure it's one of those things that once I start it, I won't put it down. I'm still planning on reading L.A. Punk Rocker. That's some um, more nonfiction, but not inspirational. I'm really looking forward to it because I've been kind of saturating myself with nonfiction inspirational stuff. So I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, something else by Stacey Roark. <laughs> I'm a fan in case you hadn't noticed. Um, her second book in her Real Romance series is out. And um, I, I am so like kicking myself that I haven't read it already. I already know I'm going to like it. I, I say that, but who knows? Stacey has never let me down. Um, so that is called Turntables, and I'm looking forward to reading that. And let's see, is there anything else on here? Oh yeah, the B2B Psycon, I know you're probably tired of hearing that, the way to my wrap-up comes, um, released an anthology. I am one of the contributing authors. I um, contributed a science fiction story, um, and they're all, you know, short stories for the most part. Some of them are really long short stories. <laughs> Regardless, I am going to be reading that because I like to read what some of the other people put in it. So. That is called Book Dreams, and that is from the Brain to Books Psycon, and that's volume one. So these are the things that I'm going to try to read in the month of April, May-ish. We'll see what happens at the end of the month. So that is my reading challenge update for the most part. Now this next thing that I'm going to share, <laughs> you know, sometimes I get online and I get so wrapped up in things and good stuff happens. I've been winning a couple of contests. Uh, I think I want a gift card. I want some free books. Love to win free books. But this next one, I saw the book cover and I thought it looked really interesting. And I was trying to find out more about it, but I kept getting redirected to this giveaway. So I was like, all right, fine. I'm gonna sign up for this giveaway. And then after I signed up for the giveaway, I was able to find out more about the book that book is not for me so I'm glad I didn't win a copy of it because I would have felt bad knowing me I would have just figured out a way to pass it on to someone else because whether a book is for me or, or not is for someone else and I don't believe in waste but I got a kind of a complimentary prize which I'm really excited about because it's really cute so let me just kind of explain to you what I have here's the here's the little package a little pink letter and inside I got a little goodie bag and I'll show you what's in that and this is from the author um, Kylie Reese Samuels and the book that I was interested in at the time was called Juliet and I don't think there's a picture of it in here Aww. anyway so just a quick synopsis um, from what I can remember and don't quote me um, Juliet I believe is the other woman um, in the story 
and it's kind of an erotic tale and I have nothing against adult content but I just you know it's not always for me and it sounds like it's a little more intense than what I'm used to because I mean I've read adult fiction but it just seems a little bit more adventurous than I am regardless I got this lovely little postcard from the author kind of letting me know some of her releases that are coming up and it's signed and I love her little logo I don't know if you can see it through my blaring lights but her little logo is really cool and it's just a, it says thank you I would like to thank you for your participation in my giveaway and then um, there's just some other stuff on there so let's dive into this little goodie bag which I'm definitely gonna have to contact her and send her a thank you this is great so I have some little stickers that say Kylie Ray Samuels and it's um, her little symbol which um, if you pay close attention it does kind of let you know there's some steam going on there and then inside I have a pen um, pink pen and it says Kali Ray Samuel Juliet I wish I had a cover of the book to show you but it's not something that I'm going to be reading but I'll leave a link if you want to check it out and then I also have her little business card which is good because I got to remember how to get in contact with her and I'm, I'm moving this along I know you're probably like toy this is one of the most boring things you've done on your channel sorry all right so I have a cool little magnet for my refrigerator and it again it has her name on it and it says Juliet and it's really cute and I got a keychain that matches it I don't know if you can see that it keeps moving really like that and oh Emma Nims um, the, I think the reason why the M&Ms are so significant is the cover of the book is very kind of a neutral tone, but it, then it has um, splashes of blue and red. So this kind of goes along with the color tone of the book. And then this is a piece de resistance. <laughs> it's a uh, necklace promoting the Juliet series, and it actually says Brave on it. And I'm assuming that's a reference to the kind of um, psychological um, sexual exploitation that happens, uh, explore, exploration, let me pronounce that correctly, that happens in the story. And, you know, to each his own, sometimes people need that. And there you go. So I think it's really cute. And I'm, I'm actually really happy that I entered the the giveaway um, even if I didn't win the grand prize and even if I'm not excited about the book I can still be excited for the author and I'm gonna leave a link below if any of you want to check it out so that was my sort of unboxing and that was my um, wrap up for the month of March I'm letting you know what I'm reading in the month of April if you would like to share some of your reading challenge stuff with me please do so I'd like to see what's going on and um, that's it so Bye for now.